changes. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the channel. It is Tuesday, November 24th, 2020, and I've got to cover a subject that like literally comes straight from you guys and infuriates me more than probably any other topic across my Facebook groups and social media and the internet about reselling and about business in general. If you're not a reseller and you're in another business, this is going to apply to you. And <clears throat> the subtopic is refunding customers who buy multiple items or multiple orders and you're able to package the items together and ship them for cheaper and that you should give the customer a partial refund um, because you were able to save money. First of all, anybody that does that is foolish. Second of all, there is an exception to rule number one. Again, rule number one, never refund customers because you were able to save money on your end. Number two, there are exceptions. So let me explain to you what I'm talking about and then let me give you a business lesson for life that hopefully you'll never forget. And if you don't forget it, you'll be successful. And if you ignore it and you think that I'm wrong, then you're never gonna make as much money as you probably should. And you're welcome to run your business any way you feel fit. But if you're running the business and you're serious and you're not doing it the way I'm about to tell you, you're wrong, period. There's opinions and there's facts. And the facts of what I'm about to tell you are absolutely correct. Customer buys a $5 cable from you on eBay or any platform, but this is primarily targeting eBay. They pay you $5 for this and you charged $3 for shipping. So it's an $8 item, right? Five and three. And then a few minutes later, they're scrolling through your store and they find this cable. And they're like, hey, I need one of these as well. And this is $5 and $3 shipping. And so they pay you another $8. And so they check out and they send you $16. Now let's just say this costs $3 to ship and this costs $3 to ship. It's never exact, but let's just go on the assumption that they cost $3 to ship, right? It could be 297, it could be 303, whatever it is. So you wake up in the morning, they ordered this late at night, they're up late shopping. And you wake up in the morning and you see the orders. You're like, hey, guy ordered two of them, sweet. I'm gonna put them together, and stick them down in my envelope and I'm gonna mail it and it's only gonna cost me four bucks. It's not gonna cost me $6. It's gonna cost me four to ship to them. I saved $2. You know what? I'm feeling like such a good guy or girl today. I'm gonna go ahead and send my $2 back to my customer. I'm sorry, what? You're gonna give the customer $2 back? What? I can't even process this in my head. Why? Because it's good karma? Because you're an honest business person? Because it's deceptive to charge somebody $6 and give them back and not give them back $2 because you saved money? My cable is $8 free shipping. My other cable is $8 free shipping. Customer just bought both of them for $16 and paid me. How much of a refund do I owe the customer? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, I'll wait. I'll wait while you explain to me why I have to refund them partial money on the order that charged shipping versus the one that was free shipping. Your customer agrees to pay a price, $8. It doesn't matter if it's $7, and 90, $7 plus 99 cents shipping, or if it's 99 cents plus $7 shipping, or $8 free shipping, or four and four, or five and three, or six and two. They agreed to pay a price, period. What if they had bought this item today and you went out and shipped it because you're a quick shipper and then tonight they bought this one? It's too late. They still agreed to pay $8 for this item and $8 for this one. You owe them nothing. In fact, in fact, unless they negotiate with you, here's our exception, unless they ask you beforehand and message you before the transaction or before purchasing it, not before five minutes you walk out the door to ship it, before purchasing and say, hey, I'm buying both of these cables, is there any way you could put them in the same envelope and save me a couple bucks? Hey, yeah, you know what, let's, let's do it. And even then, even then, you're not obligated to give them anything. If you think it'll satisfy them enough to close the deal, then by all means, do what you think is necessary. But they're probably going to buy it anyway, so it's probably not necessary, but okay, great. Then we're fair. They've negotiated, you've dealt with it, and you got the choice and you got the opportunity 
to give them that discounted shipping combined or to offer that to them or decide if you want to offer that to them. But if they don't communicate with you in any way, they agreed to pay and that's the end of it. Two reasons, two reasons it's not dishonest and not shady. Number one, it's called shipping and handling. That includes the materials you spend to stick these in and the tape and the time and the handling and the storage. That also includes your time to drop it off. Shipping and handling, don't forget that. And the second reason that it's not shady or deceptive is you paid a fee on $8, not a fee on $6 if you give them back two bucks, right? Or $7. The difference in that, along with the sales tax, could be 20 cents, could be 30 cents, who knows, right? You paid a fee, and if you refund them partially, now, of course, if you're on PayPal versus managed payment, it could be slight difference, but if you refund them, you're still on the hook for that fee. You still paid that fee based on the sold transaction amount to eBay. Their final value on that was $8, not six or seven. Why should you refund the customer? I'm confused. And I don't think any comment down below is ever going to justify this short of the customer negotiated beforehand. If that's the case, fine. Otherwise, that's your money and too bad for them. If they message you asking for it, you state that exact policy. Hey, I really appreciate the order. Um, we would have been happy to combine orders in the future. Uh, if you message us before making the order, now that you've processed and paid, it's too late. We've shipped them or we are shipping them. And we are unfortunately unable to offer any kind of refunds on shipping uh, after the purchase and sale has been paid for because we're liable for the fees and the shipping and handling cost. Done. That's all you have to put in there. That's it. That's it. So let me give you the business lesson. Um, and I'm going to reference, I'm going to link it below. I just watched an 18 minute video from Dave Chappelle about business and about you being the only person that looks out for you. Nobody else is looking out for you. You're in this business to make money. When you bought these two cables, you bought them with the sole intention of reselling them for the maximum amount of profit and money that you possibly could make. Period. There's no other reason you did it. There are some items, but for argument's sake, you're a reseller. You're not a sell an item and give back some of the money because it'll bring good karma around. Well, if that's the case, you can give back money on every single order because you'll be getting all kinds of karma, right? Come, stop with that. Stop. Somebody may make the argument that if you do good for somebody this time and give them the discount, they'll come back and shop with you again. It's fair. I'll go with that, except that the repeat customer rate on eBay and most e-commerce platforms, unless you sell a replenishable item, an item that they keep coming back for, is very, very low. Customers that buy one-off items rarely come back for repeat customers. I've done polls of hundreds and hundreds of sellers on this platform on eBay through my groups or everything, very few ever come back or very few of their customers ever come back. Uh, they, they've done it, they've tracked it, they've seen it, they've downloaded reports on eBay and sorted it by you know, alphabet. And then you can just scroll down the alphabetic, you know, alphabetical names to see. It's just very, very low, like in the single digit percentages, less than two, less than three, less than one. It just doesn't happen, repeat customers are rare. That's just a fact. So all of these refunds that you're giving are waste of money and that's just, the plain, hard, cold truth of it. And if that's not how you want to operate your business, you are free. Look, you're free to put a video of yourself dancing the Macarena in every video or every package in a USB drive that you want. If that's what you choose to do for your business, by all means, I'm not here to tell you how to run your business. What I am here to tell you is how to maximize your profits and your productivity and everything else about your business. And giving away money is not the way to do it. Do you think these platforms give you back money? Hey, Netflix, uh, hey, we know you paid $14 this month, but we found a cheaper way to, to host our, our videos on a server and, and we can save you two bucks a month. So we just want to go ahead and send you two bucks. Thank you. No, nobody's sending you money. eBay, hey, we found a way to make more money off of the uh, fees by not having PayPal anymore. So we wanted to go ahead and, uh, and give you that discount, which is great, thanks. And we, we wanted to go ahead and send you some money. 
<laughs> oh, they don't care. They care about the bottom line. And some of you are gonna say, well, I'm honest and, and, and I, don't, I, I value my customers more than the bottom line. Are you in business or are you in friendship making? I'm confused. I thought we were in business to make money. If I'm wrong, somebody tell me, by all means. And a lot of people are gonna thumbs down, dislike this video, great, thumbs down it, all you want, because you know what, it just helps the engagement of the video, it'll just go up, and more people and more sellers will see it who will learn the correct way to handle these situations and not the incorrect way to handle these situations. So by all means, if you feel the need to downvote it, by all means, do it, it just helps the video, so thank you for that. And a lot of people are gonna go, oh my God, he's being so egotistical or arrogant. No. I'm giving you the facts of business and you can't handle it. There's a difference. That's where people get tripped up a lot. They hear something they don't like or they don't agree with, even though it's the way it is, you don't have to like it. You don't have to agree with it. There's a lot of laws that I don't like and agree with, but you know what? That's the law. And I don't have to like it or agree with it, but I have to do things the correct way or I'll fail. And maybe you won't fail over $2 here and there. Fantastic, but you know what? You'll waste $2 here and there that you otherwise could have had. Is this lesson good for you guys? I'm gonna link it below. I'm gonna link that video from Chappelle. It's awesome. It's not about necessarily refunds and money, but it is about owning your business and owning what you do and, and doing things the correct way and only looking out for yourself. I know that sounds terrible, but in business, no one else is gonna look out for you. All right, I'll leave you guys with that. Um, as always, appreciate it. If you feel inclined to hit the thumbs up button, that's cool too. Make sure you're subscribed for future videos. I have a really good one for you tomorrow and the rest of the week. Uh, Thanksgiving Thursday, so no live show. Uh, Thursday, I am gonna uh, skip out on that. And I think that's all I got for you guys. If you want to pick up the 2020 training program that covers eBay, Amazon, Posh, accounting, social media, it includes my private Facebook group, the Bolos, uh, the accounting spreadsheets, the buying templates, everything, it's 2020. $20.20 one time it's below. I'm retiring it at the end of this month. We're almost done. You got less than a week left, so don't miss out on grabbing that. And if there's anything else I can do for you, don't hesitate. Rockstarflipper at gmail.com. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again tomorrow.